Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. On Thursday, Americans will take to the streets outside their local Verizon stores and congressional offices to protest against rolling back net neutrality exactly one week ahead of the FCC's planned vote. Now Mark Stanley, Director of Communications for Demand Progress, said with what would be a catastrophic, catastrophic vote by the FCC to repeal net neutrality looming, People are ready to take to the streets and protest and to offer Congress one last chance to answer the question, do you stand for your constituents' ability to communicate and connect, or do you stand for Verizon's bottom line? Now, Verizon stores were chosen as the premier site for the demonstrations because FCC Chairman Ajit Pai previously was the company's Associate General Counsel from 2001 to 2003. Now, uh, right here is a list of... Um, the websites, companies, and organizations who are defending net neutrality. You can see some of them right here. I know the image is too large, but uh, it's either going to be too large or too small, folks. That's it right there. Maybe I can uh, take it down. There we go. How about that? Get a better view. There's some of the companies that are defending net neutrality. Here are the corporate baddies that are... Uh, against net neutrality. Now, 27 senators, including uh, Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, have sent Pi a letter on Monday demanding the FCC to delay the vote. Also, 40 consumer protection groups have sent a letter to Pi asking for a delay as well. Uh, folks, the Internet's in trouble either way. Either you let uh, the corporates decide uh, the fate of your Internet, overcharge you, give you a deteriorating service, or you let... Uh, you let some of these groups have control and let the, let the Silicon Valley um, geeks who generally are left-leaning decide what, uh, what you can't see on the Internet because it may offend their sensibilities and their political proclivities. I mean, either way, folks, uh, the Internet, I, I believe, is going to deteriorate. Uh, th there's no good choice. There is no good choice. There is no net neutrality. Uh, but anyway, we'll live with it. We're going to have to live with it. I'll leave you a link to this, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up and please share it if you feel so led to. But most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hi, this is Jim. Please allow me to introduce my latest fiction book, Fortress, a Wayfarer story. Fortress is an edgy and realistic fiction tale that depicts an America that is a far cry from that which your parents grew up in. God has been asked to leave the proverbial building, leaving the door open for enemies, natural and supernatural, to enter. As the nation stands on the verge of global and civil war and economic collapse, up is down, right is wrong, and a fog of deception has settled over the amber waves of grain. Lies are presented as truth, while those who would tell the truth are marginalized and persecuted. And could it be that those who disseminate the truth could have their very modes of conveyance taken away? If you're a fan of the alternative media and a watcher of world events, Fortress is a fiction story that just might smack of truth. It's available in Kindle and paperback, and it's linked below. Check it out today.